Hello and welcome to part 7 of Monster Crown. Richard is currently fighting a giant green lizard. I am, with little spindly arms. Yeah, and it's, I don't know whether that's a roll of fat or another arm. Oh yeah, that's what we did last episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got my uh, shiny hiner. Shiny hiner, if you yeah. will. Oh, yeah, Dunyan rings, pal. Hmm. <laughs> it's got... You were saying? Um... Is this the chancy <laughs> of this game? I mean, it depends on its defence, doesn't it? So. Well, let us catch one and you could see. Always do, you could always just do um, the switching synergy stuff and you get a way more powerful move. Yeah, that I could do that. Or... Could catch it. Just not. I mean, offer you it a contract. One, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you got one just before this one. I'm, I'm pretty sure I mean like 80, 90 percent sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was literally only f like a small amount of time. What, what are you doing? You don't want to leave him. I want to feed him those berries. <laughs> what about now? So yeah, but um, I thought about something. Uh, don't, don't <laughs> go near that monster. Not, not just yet. You learned that last time. I did. Um, so yeah, there's something that I just wanted to, uh, that I was thinking about um, just during the previous episode, and it's all about the whole breeding process and everything in this game. Oh yeah. And how, and how it relates to kind of evolution in a sense. And I know this sounds very scientific, but don't worry, it's not, and it's quite... If you think about it, it's quite interesting. Not wrong with science. It's of, no, it, it basically, it has very minimal to do with actual scientific fact. But if you think about it, like, dinosaurs had... Like most dinosaurs, to some extent, pretty much had hands at some point, didn't they? Yeah. Like, if you think about, like, the Spinosaurus, the T-Rex, the Velociraptor, all, uh, and even the Pterodactyl, all had what would effectively would be tiny little hands. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, they, they were that getting there in the evolution sort of stages to get hands. Oh, yeah. And, um, and then just think about it, that those gigantic monsters... That were on the verge of having like f proper hands and everything, eventually turned into stuff like pigeons, <laughs> with with their own versions of tiny little uh, little hands that are no, on the wings. No, no, that ended up having wings and then smashing their heads into the floor. <laughs> I mean, if that isn't like evolution going, fuck you, <laughs> massively awry, you giant. <laughs> fucking horrible piece of shit <laughs> then I don't know what it is it's, it's like the middle finger of evolution isn't it because we <laughs> evolved from monkeys but we have thumbs and ha fingers and actual hands in its case of what do pigeons have they get to smash their heads into the floor to pick up food cool cool and effectively they can stare at their own ass and food at the same time oh what a life and yeah, sure, they can see ten times faster than we can. I think it's ten times, something like that. Oh yeah, they've got like pigeon but, vision or something, haven't they? Well, they are pigeons, so um, it would make sense for them to <laughs> have pigeon If they didn't have vision. if they didn't have something that called pigeon vision, like we have human vision, I'd be quite worried. Um, pigeon vision. It's literally named after them. P -p -p pigeon vision. P -p -p no, just no. Um. Oh, you screwed. Um, oh, oh, okay. Um, it's one of these lads. Drangus. Oh, I don't think I caught a Drangus, did I? No, you killed it. But yeah, it's just a case of if it's like if you think about it, p pigeons are the and all birds have effectively gone from near height of the food chain to rock bottom. Like they they basically smash their heads into the floor and they went from having like you know quite long, I, I mean gr granted 
the size of the brain isn't everything. But they went from having huge brain to having brains the size of peanuts. Yeah. So it's just like, you've got to think, what the hell happened? <laughs> I mean, I know a meteor happened and everything, but... Oh, yeah, that, that's what a meteor I what, do. What? Like, what happened? <laughs> um, <laughs> Poor pigeons. I mean, you get the odd uh, the odd few birds that are, you know, real contenders, like, you know, your birds of prey and that sort of thing. They're, they're doing pretty well for themselves. Yeah, but even still going from, like, pterodactyl, T-Rex, Velociraptor, you know, that sort of level, to what they are today, it just makes you think, what are we going to, like, turn into? Because we're not going to turn into anything fantastic if anything, anyone else has anything to say about it. No, that's true. I think it's uh, it's got a lot to do with the amount of oxygen um, in the atmosphere as well. It's like, you know, uh, back in the day, and by the day, I mean when, like, dinosaurs were alive, um, there was a lot more oxygen in the atmosphere, because, like, plants haven't been around for, relatively speaking, a very long time. So there were more oxygen around, so things could grow to be massive. Like, you know, you hear about, you know, like, insects that are, like, four foot long. Yeah, but... We still have stuff like that now. There's a bat that can grow up to seven foot tall. Seven foot tall. At least I think it's seven. I think it's seven pounds. foot tall. I mean, I think it's about seven foot tall. But um, oh, okay, you, you just didn't want the door. You wanted to beat a green blob. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, but yeah, no. There's a fruit bat that can. I think it grows to like seven foot tall, something like that. Really? Um. It, yeah, yeah I, th- it, I think it's in the Philippines. Oh, wow. And let's put it this way. I'm glad it eats fruit <laughs> because those people would be screwed. I mean... Can you imagine? Just could like... you imagine? No. Oh, oh, this is this is Greg. He hang, hangs around here all the time. It's just a giant seven-foot bat. <laughs> this is dangling Greg. upside down. <laughs> I mean, come on. You, you totally named them. <laughs> this is my pal, Greg. I mean, if it's... He's, uh, he doesn't say If much. it's there and... <laughs> I mean, if it's there and it's seven foot tall, you're not exactly going to try and shoot it away, are you? <laughs> no, absolutely not. I mean, not. what are you going to do? Break out the fucking sweeping brush and just bat it up going, <laughs> shift. <laughs> it would wreck you. Um, but yeah, um, so you can go back to this guy right now and just totally wreck him again. I didn't wreck him the first time. I think that was a wild encounter. <laughs> That I was tangling with. Oh, was it doing that bad? Then. So yeah, if you go against him now, I think you'll get like 20 gold. Oh, yeah, the music changed. Really oh, usually. listen to this. Oh, ah. Oh, ah. <laughs> this is the exact same music as you got when you this thingy. What, the big bad? Yeah, the big bad. I uh, wasn't paying attention when I was uh, facing the big bad on account of uh, I was too busy getting wrecked there. Well, I did tell you, like, you know. Whoa. Also, you know what I actually, um, you know that I, um, I told you recently that I watched uh, Disney's Tarzan. Oh yeah, what the um, one from like I want to say like yeah. mid nineties. No, it was early two thousands. Um, really? Yeah, the animated, the animated one. one. Really? Yeah. Was that late on? No way. Yeah. Um, uh, and watching it now. You can clearly see some weird sort of stuff going on. Like, if just think about it, if um, if Jane never turned up, I'm pretty sure Tarzan would be with Turk, which would be a whole different film. Like, wouldn't it? Just completely different because it's a case of you can totally tell she has a thing for him throughout the whole film, and you're just like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
This is a kids' film. <laughs> also, I love the fact that they would they actually skipped over Tarzan from be like it went from child straight to adult, so they skipped the awkward teenage years. <laughs> I don't want to know like what you're just doing with that leaf, going, from going, going child straight to adult because nobody wants to know what happened in the middle there. Because <laughs> that that would just be a, a very weird film. Oh yeah, I didn't, honestly didn't realise it was that late on. So it came yeah, out I, like I, a year or two before Shrek. Because I, I still consider Shrek to be quite a recent like film either. That was like 2001, right? Yeah, Shrek 1 came out in 2001. Gah! And... I wonder what type this oh, guy is. Well, 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 uh, you, were, you were technically right, because it's a case of Tarzan came out in 1999 on the 22nd of October. So it was like late 90s, early 2000s sort of borderline. Still in America, it came out in June, so I don't know what the hell was going on there. <laughs> it came out in June 18th, and we got it on the 22nd of October. The hell took all that time. And when when was the latest country to have it? Okay, the Netherlands, France, um, were like July 2000s. Oh, Turkey and Kuwait. Early 2000s in January, um, and then it got re-released in 2005 as a special edition, and then we got a 3D version in like 2014, 2019. Mm-hmm. Why did we get a 3D version in 2014, but USA got it in 2019? But whatever. Nobody cares. Um, Stop by for a rematch any time. Okie doke. It, in America, it, the working title was Tarzan Lord of the Apes. And the DVE title was Tarzan Special Edition. So we had Tarzan Lord of the Apes, which kind of just kind of pushes that whole theme of, you know, he had sex with monkeys. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, uh, that's what we're being, uh, being driven at there. Yeah, um, but you know, each their own. Yeah, that's it. I'm not one to judge. No, I mean, I do judge. I totally judge. Um, but not but in a very judgy way. Not like in a mean way. Just like, whoa, Disney. Like, and I get like the whole there's adult content in their films just to appeal to the adults, and kids won't understand. But, it, but there is a line. It's well, it's um, well hidden. <laughs> for the most part. That was not well hidden. <laughs> that was like, in your face. She has feelings for him and is sad to see him go. <laughs> I might have to rewatch this, actually. <laughs> you you will. Like, you'll, you can. Like, now that I've mentioned it, you'll rewatch it and you'll be like, oh, good God, he was right. Um, I feel like I didn't <laughs> this pick up on mild. This as a child. No, no, exactly, because you wouldn't, because no child would think, oh yeah, having sex with animals, that's, yeah, that's the thing. You, you just, you just wouldn't. No. What happened to flying back home? Ah, oh, that's too much effort. <laughs> so I'm not actually spending oh, any of my money. So. Yeah, well, that's just it. You don't like if you go back to that guy, you can battle him again. Does he get stronger? No. I mean, it was quite exact tough same. last time, to be honest. Oh, I didn't tell you my sugar snap pea story, did I? Oh, please go on. Oh, yeah. I think you. Uh, I think you mentioned it by name, but. I- I wasn't actually aware of what it entailed. Yeah, I mentioned it to you off camera. Oh, well, off recording. I'll, we'll say off camera because that's effectively what it is. Yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah, effectively. And I might add a note, I've never eaten these 
ever since that day, and I will never eat one in my entire life if I can help it. Right, really? Okay, will I ever eat one again after hearing this story? Probably not. Oh. Not without checking first. Oh, God. What are you going to tell me? Um, don't worry, it's all, um, it's all related um, to, I guess, what we're doing now. Um, so it's a case of, um, when I was younger, my dad used to buy boxes of sugar snap peas as a case of, like, to try and get us to eat healthy, so on and so on. Yeah. And I was, and it was like, yeah, why not? They, they taste all right. Couldn't eat. Uh, it was basically like eating sweet celery, and I didn't mind celery. Except, yeah, uh, obviously sugar snap peas had less little, like, stringiness to them. Yeah. Um, good God, what is that? I um, what type it is. I don't know. Probably brutal. I think it's the fisting type. <laughs> um, Fighting type, you said. Um, yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I um, don't want to get demonetized before we get monetized. <laughs> I mean, we're like... <laughs> 15 minutes in plus who cares um, no one no one will watch this point who's just skipping through I mean let's face Hell, it man, we're talking about peas <laughs> we are we are yeah but um what are you um, what are you no yeah no go back you had a you had a move that you could use yeah but it weren't very powerful um, it don't matter but yeah, um, critical hit. So effectively, what um, what happened was was that um, oh, that's not too bad. Oh, it's angry. So yeah, um, what happened was is one day I had one and I just took a bite out of it, as you do, and yeah, and I pulled it away and. I realised something then, and I didn't know this until I had taken this very bite, is that caterpillars burrow inside them as they grow around them, so they have food inside the to obviously grow. They eat the peas and stuff like that within it. And what I had actually taken out a bite out of was a sugar snap pea with a caterpillar inside it, I did not bite into the caterpillar. I want to make that clear now, I did not bite into oh. it. However, when I pulled it away from my mouth, I could see the caterpillar basically had its head right where my tooth mark was. Oh god, that was a lucky escape. And the amount of turd from <laughs> the caterpillar was all at one end, and I was just like... I'm never eating one of these again, and oh, I man. have never eaten one since. I thought you were going to say you took a bite out of crime, but oh my word. Yeah, how disgusting is that? You've got to think, though, that these people are supposed to check them and make sure that they're not eating, getting, like, they're not got caterpillars in them, yeah, but they just sell them off, and it's just like, oh, well, you I suppose, know. suppose, you know, you, you all... can't possibly check every one. Yeah, but you've got to think that, like... The amount of stuff that they have to go through for, like, the packaging and stuff. You think they would, like, make sure that no possible living creature would be able to survive in there? Yeah. It's almost like, you know when uh, you get sealed bags of lace and you hear about people finding spiders and stuff like that, or in the bananas and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah. You, you think, these creatures have lived there for ages. How are they not dead? Yeah, in, like, a sealed sort of... Yeah, like these came in a sealed container, and you're just like, how are you not dead? And I nearly bit his head off. Um, <laughs> hey, did you see what move I just learned? <coughs> fat slam. <laughs> slam with a fat body part. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boost defense by 10%. Um, oh, yeah. But what fat body part? <laughs> that will remain up for debate. It was one of its three tails. Um, uh, let's say yes. <coughs> oh, look at that speed. Oh, wow. Ah. That's not bad, that. 
But yeah, so that's um, that's all the stories that I actually wanted to share today because they were absolutely gross and disgusting. Thank you for sharing that. No problem, and you will probably never have one again thanks to that thought. I, uh, I quite enjoyed Sugar Snap Peas until uh, a couple of moments ago there. Yeah, yes, I enjoyed them until a few years ago. And by a few years, I mean like 12. Um, oh my god, you can run! Oh, you've in- yeah, you've increased your speed. Um, Wahoo! I was trying to pick Great a pumpkin job. up there, if you don't mind. <laughs> Dingus. I think you should name the question mark ones. Yeah, just, just so, so I can you can tell, tell the part. difference. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Dark pole. Right you right you are. Ah, great job. Don't you love it when this sort of thing happens? <laughs> I couldn't move away. <laughs> You've got one health. What the hell do you think you could do? Win! But yeah, how did you enjoy my Sugar Snap Pea story? Um, was I it, was there a lot? didn't enjoy it very much, to be honest. It's made me well, fear you know, for Sugar a, Snap Peas in the future. I mean, it's a fact, so... Yeah. Oh, and he's dead. You should call your monster back and then sit. Oh, okay, it's only when you picked up the pumpkin. Leave me alone! It's stuck on your monster. Oh no, it's not. It's grab free. Ah. <laughs> There's more of them! Chase him down. I love how you're running around with a piece of a pumpkin. Call him back. You, you, he's eating the pumpkin. <laughs> now I'm going home now. <laughs> Whoa. That was a bit of a sweaty situation there. I know, yeah. You gotta love it though, aren't you? Oh man, I can't stop I like thinking about I... that sugar pea. No, no. And I hope you never forget it when you... So when you find out the next time anybody's bought them, you're like, oh, let, let's cut them open. Um, <laughs> Just to have a look. Yeah. Oh, dear. Moral of the story, check them. Because you don't want to eat shit. Um, Wait, was it just raining <laughs> in my room? Um, I don't know. I didn't. Hold on. I wasn't looking for a well, second. Well, um, footage on that. Dad, there's a leak. Yep. <laughs> Dad, call the plumber, or a tiler, or a roofer. Call the farmer. <laughs> Because there's a leak it's in his room. It's happening again. <laughs> <laughs> the leaks have climbed up the stairs. Okay, Do you think pigeons get on public transport to go visit, like, museums and stuff? I mean, I have seen pigeons on public transport, like on well, yeah, trams like... and trains and stuff. 
Yeah, and it's a case of they've got to know that they're going, like where they're going. So it's like, do you ever think that they're just trying to go and have a nice day out? Hey, you never know. Like, like go visit a museum, or I don't know. I don't see why not. A nice, a nice day at the arcade or something. I, I like the idea of a museum because then they're looking at their ancestors and like, what have we become? Um, but yeah. What have we become? Um, yeah, Gwal Chop is essentially a piece of meat that will heal your monster for, I think it was like 120 or something. Oh, really? Yeah. What have we become now that I've betrayed? Oh, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Hello, big boy. Right, I, I reckon I can take some more of this guy's money. This seems to be the only reliable way to uh, accrue money in uh, in this game that I've discovered so far. Well, there's more than one Tamer, you know that, right? But where? I mean, they're just around. I love how the skull from the boss is right in the corner. Oh yeah, it's still floating about there. I also love how you turned off party share, but you are automatically swapping monsters, which is effectively like having party share on. Oh, he did one. One damage. But this way, I'm building up my... Synergy bar. True, you are, but you're also sharing the XP, and you could easily build up your synergy bar by swapping between only two monsters. Yeah, I could do that. Ruby Slam. I told you this guy had uh, this guy had come in clutch. I mean, he's a walking rock. I mean, he's not great. Stampede. Stamlange. I know, he's just got such a generic name, hasn't he? Just shad to, mate. Awful. <laughs> I'll see myself out. Too late, already. he already did. Yeah, there I am, growing all the way to level 11 at the bottom. Yep, even though you're halfway through the XP bar. I went steel self. St so it's hardened, probably. Yeah. I mean, even if you healed your monsters now, you'd actually still be making a profit. Yeah, I would, wouldn't I? And away I go. So long. Wait for me, Shiner. <laughs> no, I didn't want to do that. Did I? I wanted to rename these question mark ones that don't have names yet. I mean, you could literally just go on, go on them. What does that look like to you? Go and check. It looks like a two-tailed fox. That shiner. Pink two-tailed fox, eh? Looks like a thievel. Yeah, let, let's call it that. I have no idea what it is, but yes. Yeah, it's one of the new Pokemons from this generation. <laughs> Yes, because I've played the, the newest Pokemon enough to actually catch so many Pokemon that I knew all their names off by heart. Oh, you played it a bit. Come on, man. I played it a bit. I finished the campaign, and then I basically left it to gather <laughs> dust. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. Even though everyone's like, oh, but afterwards is always the best bit. I'm just like, uh, I'd rather be playing other games. Because there's tons of good games out there too. Like, let's face it. Like, 
with the amount of games that there are that are coming out that's fairly good quality, like, if not better, like, what came out at the same time as Pokemon? Like, Doom, um, I'm trying to think of them, but I can't off the top of my head because it was a while ago. Um, but obviously we've got all the others coming out, like, we had Call of Duty, had Warzone and everything, even though I didn't want to play that because it was gigantic. Um, we had, I've still got Zelda to play because I've not played the new one at all. Oh, Breath of the Wild. I've uh, heard it's really good, but I've not played it either. Yeah, exactly. Um, I've got loads of, I've got over 300 games on my backlog to finish. <laughs> And it's like, I just don't have time to go, you know what, I'll, I'll pour like 600 hours into Pokemon. <laughs> Why not? I, it's just a no-go for me. It's just not, like, you know what I mean? And there's loads of TV shows out, because let's face it, we've got The Boys Season 2. Oh yeah, The Boys we, looks uh, good. We've just had Umbrella Academy Season 2. Um, we've got Mandalorian Season 2 that's coming out in a while. Ah, yes. I have no idea when anymore. I'll have to watch um, season one at some point. There's Star Trek Discovery that's coming out, season three, in a few months, I think. Like, so, you know, there's, there's just... And we've got, like, films like Bill and Ted 3 and stuff like that, so it's a case of who the hell has the time to, like, do all of these things. I would literally have to sit in front of my computer or with, with my Switch in my hand every day watching all these shows and playing Pokemon at the same time and I mean I've done stuff like that before but I just can't I, I just don't want to do it <laughs> that's how I play Pokemon anyway to be honest mate yeah but that's because it's, ca- it's easy to do at that point where you're at because it's just like oh I'll do this oh, I'll do this but it's just like I'd rather be engaged by the show that I'm watching because usually I've, I've already like captivated by it and I'm just like, I'm either watching it or I'm not watching it. However, wait a minute, go back up. Go back, no. Ah. What? I think the boss monster had a highness stuck up his ass. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. However, that is all we have time for in this episode. Alright, it's been good. Thank you for uh, watching me grind on this one trainer for the last yeah. half an hour. <laughs> and draining me of all his money. Yeah. And we learned... Plus, I tell stories. Yeah, that was part two of Storytime with Deck. Stay tuned <laughs> for more such stories. <laughs> now, there's not... I don't think there is that many. Who knows? We'll find out, won't we? I guess, over... The period of however long this channel actually goes on for. <laughs> which could be years. Could be years. Or longer. Decades. <laughs> Pun intended. Um, <laughs> yeah? Um, so yeah. Um, subscribe, like the video, tell us whatever games you want us to play. Um, that's all I've what the hell are you doing? Um, Wahoo! <laughs> um, and yeah, just, you know, just let us know what you want us to do. And, you know. Yeah. We'll give it a go. And we'll get a whack, aren't we? Well, thank you, for, uh, thank you for joining us. Have a good one. Until next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>